Hi there, this is Dr. Komal and in this lesson we will talk about why cells are usually small. The most important reason for this is communication. We know that cell is the basic structural and function unit of life. For a cell to function effectively, there should be an effective communication between different regions of the cell and also between cell and its environment. Why effective communication between different regions of the cell is important? Because there are many processes which continuously occur in a cell like synthesis of proteins, synthesis of organelles and why effective communication is important between cell and its environment? Because exchange of materials continuously occurs between cell and its environment. And all these processes, they require diffusion at some point. Diffusion is the movement of substances from higher concentration to their lower concentration. The larger a cell is, the longer will be the time taken by the substances to diffuse between different regions of the cell and also from the periphery of the cell to the center of the cell. That is why to make the communication effective between different regions of the cell and also between the cell and its environment, cells are usually small. Another way to understand why cells are usually small is to understand it in terms of surface area to volume ratio. As the cell size increases, its volume increases much more rapidly than its surface area. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Here I have taken two spherical cells, one with a radius of 1 cm, another one with a radius of 10 cm. By increasing the radius by a factor of 10, the surface area increases 100 times and volume increases 1000 times. So here we can see that the volume of the cell increases at a much faster rate as compared to its surface area. For a cell, its surface area is very important. A cell surface area should be large enough to support its volume. Therefore, for a cell, its surface area is more important than its volume because a cell has to continuously interact with its environment. And how this interaction is possible? How it takes place? It takes place through the plasma membrane. So larger the surface area, larger will be the span of the plasma membrane and more effective will be the interaction between cell and its environment. As the small cells have higher surface area to volume ratio than larger ones, so cells are usually small. So that's all about the lecture. Please like, share and subscribe and post your comments. Thank you.